grimoires are books that all magicians use to contain their magic runes and summons. The first time I ever held one was in that tower. The Silver Star. The famous tower that still stands beyond the dark forest. I'll never forget those five long days I spent there. My name is Lilith Blonde. I was a student at the Magic Academy. Ah, what joy the stars bring to us. Welcome, Miss Lilith Blonde. Have you ever ridden a dragon before? These mountains are quite treacherous. I wouldn't let my fear of dragons keep me from coming to this wonderful place. It's an honor to be enrolled by the Binder of Archmagenitude, Sir Gamaldor. So, you know of our academy. We invite talented children from around the kingdom. Here, you will learn the knowledge to properly take over for us weary magicians. Sir, am I going to be your apprentice? Now there's no need for that. We are pupil and mentor. Please, call me professor. I will do my very best to instruct you. This is a dream come true. Our teachers are all famous magicians. Study hard under any teacher you like. Lectures are scheduled around you. Nothing should be rushed, you know. Now, let me introduce you to the caretaker for your room. The name's Gaff. Nice to meet you. Oh, how cute! You're an elf, right? I've never met one before. Cute? I'm not cute. Now, handsome. Yeah, that's more like it. Go on and say it. Um, uh, uh, hand some. Anyway, I'm Lilith Blonde. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> You'll fit right in soon enough. I had him prepare your room. You better go get some rest. I will, Professor. I'm looking forward to class tomorrow. Please excuse me. Oh, I almost forgot. There is something I have to tell you. Do not wander the halls at night. Welcome. So you're the new student? Y yes. My name is Lilith Blonde. I've just arrived. It's nice to meet you. Oh, come on now. Don't be so damn proper. I've only been here for six months. I'm Margarita Surprise, and on my head is my familiar, Shirley. I'm glad there's someone around my age. I was a little scared of being alone. Then we're friends, starting right now. Going to your room, right? Follow me. Oh, thank you, Margarita. I had your room when I first got here. The floor is new, but it creaks a lot. You should complain to the teachers and get a new room as soon as possible. But this will be my first time having my own room. I don't want to sound ungrateful. Oh? But I still say you should complain. There's a bunch of open rooms anyway. I did see a lot of hallways and doors. I hope I don't get lost. You're from the South, right? I heard the city is a fun place to live. Actually, I never went into the city. I had to take care of my little brothers. And we lived in the countryside. So, where do you come from? Just an ultra-conservative village. Professor Gamble rescued me from there. This place may be boring, but at least they don't burn us at the stake. Uh, I see. I heard that after we graduate, we'll even be able to enter the Royal Palace. <laughs> we could get lucky, you know? <laughs> I'll try my best. I'll become a great magician for my brother's sake. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I just 
want to feel the night air. Did you forget what the professor said? You wouldn't survive long out there. You see, sometimes the ghost of a scary witch stalks these halls. On a quiet night, just like tonight, a man met the witch in the hallway. And then what happened? The witch took him away. The professors couldn't do anything to help him. But here's the scary part. Three days later, he was found cruelly tortured. And his face was unrecognizably... Ah! Is it the witch's ghost? Margarita's voice! Oh, no! Oh, that was scary. That witch's ghost nearly found me. You wouldn't live long out there either. But you won't stop until you get caught. Leave me alone, Shorty. Sometimes there's nothing better than a moonlit stroll. I'm just glad you're okay. But if the ghost is so dangerous, why don't the teachers get rid of her? She's perfect for keeping naughty kids in their rooms at night. Her presence has faded. It seems the witch has passed. Really? Then let's go. Sorry for coming so late. Thanks, Lilith. I think I'll pass on the night air. You be careful. It's better for us both. I will. I'm going straight to bed. Surrounded by mana, you must learn that there are special rules. And at the same time, a magician must train oneself to use it correctly. Magic is a supernatural power. To control it, we must use the power of spirits. Small elves who live in the forest are especially friendly towards people. They may be whimsical tricksters, but they're also known for being good to us. Learning to borrow their power is always the first step to becoming a magician. Now, through the doors in the back, let's try actually using magic. Because of their diligence. Nice to meet you, friend of elves. Crystals are the source of magical power. They are the crystalline form of mana. As the elves bring mana into the rune, it converts into the magician's power. Now go on. Try asking them. Show us the rune and crystal you want us to go to, and we'll go get the mana. Okay, here we go! 